Hi gardening friends. I'm Lark and I'm in Wisconsin zone 5. I'd like to give you an update on my plants. I started indoors using the mini greenhouses and containers like this lettuce here. Beautiful morning. Happy Mother's Day everybody who's a mommy. These are my potatoes I'm chitting now. Some purple ones. I got at our farmer's market and I haven't ever had any so I thought the kids might like to see them purple also. I've gotten several cuttings off of this. My basil from indoors. That shamrock plant. Flat leaf parsley. My tomatoes. Those were in the mini, uh, in the totes, but they outgrew them, so then I put them in shallow ones so they're easier to move. Rosemary wintered really good this year in the house. I didn't overwater it. I use a lot of rosemary. I make a strong tea infusion and use it on my skin in the morning is like a toner. That and I alternate with nettle infusion tea also. And I use it in cooking and I use it in infused oils too. Well actually in the infused oil I add, uh, it's in calendula infused oil and then I add a, a couple drops of rosemary essential oil to it. These are annuals. We have ageratums blue, of course, and some um, oh, sage, I think it is. Blue sage. My peppers are doing okay. Had a couple bouts of, of mealybugs or what are those? Not white flies. I forget. They leave that white um, that clear sappy stuff on there. But I just use soap on them, soapy water. My cannas. These are Wyoming with an orange flower. So let's, I'll show you the other plants I started indoors are now on uh, the rolling rack, the rolling shelf greenhouse. This is my purchase for the year, as much as I buy. I bought one kale plant, because mine is really little, and then some coleus, some red petunias that are just really a nice deep red, not an orangey red. And what is the name of them? Um, sweet, sweet tunia, hot, rod red. <laughs> that is true. And then some lobelia on my gate. I put it in a basket. Some pretty coleus and another coleus for my bird cage. Some borage and white cosmos. All this stuff really dries out fast so I probably have to water at least once a day for sure and then maybe twice a day. Here's my rolling shelf and up there I have um, marigolds, orange marigolds, some orange cosmos, uh, some um, blue sage again, ornamental kale, 
that I'm giving away. <laughs> and then this is the ornamental kale that I potted up in little Dixie cups. I probably have about, hmm, probably about 50 right there. And some larkspur and more ornamental kale and my beets. Those need to be planted out. And some uh, sweet marjoram. Alyssum. White alyssum for the um, fragrance, too. And the bees like it. Mm, bachelor buttons. Nasturtiums. Oh, what do we have here? Blue sage and some dill, very little dill coming up there, and some morning glories. Amaranth. And, oh, this one's bachelor buttons. What's this one up here then? Something blue, I know that. I forget. Okay, gardening friends, that's it for my seedlings. Thanks for tuning in and have a great, great day. Thank you for visiting my channel too.